Santa Jo Martin, the book lady, and I am going to tell you about books that I want to read in the near future. And in my last video, which was my August wrap-up, I mentioned books that I was reading in August that I'm still reading now, and I'm not going to go over those books again. There is one book that I am reading that was already on my currently reading list that I forgot to mention, and that was Julie by Catherine Marshall. You see, I enjoyed reading Christy by Catherine Marshall so much last month that I went out and got the next audiobook, uh, Julie. It's not really a series, but I think those are the main two books that she wrote that were novels about young women. They're completely different. Like Christy was about a girl who was a school teacher in a mountain village. Whereas Julie is about a young girl, I think she's 18 or 19 at the beginning of the story, and she moves with her parents to Pennsylvania where she works with her father in a newspaper office. So completely different stories, not a series, but very much um, similar in that they are about young Christian girls and just remarkable stories. I'm so much enjoying reading Julie, so I uh, recommend it. I guess I'm about halfway through it right now. So I'm going to be reading The Headless Cupid. I'm reading it for the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge, and I'm reading it just because I want to read all the Newbery list books, both the medal winners and the honor books. And this was a uh, Newbery honor book back in the 1970s, maybe around 1972. So that is going to be the first book that I take up um, as of right now. I'm waiting to finish some of the other books that are already on my currently reading list because I don't want to have any more than eight on there at a time right now. So I need to finish another book so that I can add, well actually I need to finish another two books so that I can add The Headless Cupid to my list. And then after that there's quite a few books that I do want to read and I don't know that I will be able to get th through them in September, but uh, soon thereafter perhaps. So. I was at church the other day, and the pastor at the, uh, it's the Assembly of God Church here, which I'm not normally in the Assembly of God, but I happened to be there that day, and he recommended a couple of books, and I was just so grateful that I got to hear his recommendations. He recommended a book called Let Go to Get Peace and Real Joy by Finlan. And apparently Finlan was a monk, and this is just a book about letting go. It's a series of very short letters on that topic. So I very much want to read that. Now I've got a book over here that I want to read actually uh, for the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge, and it's another Christian book called The Kneeling Christian. And the prompt is to read a book that was originally published anonymously. So this one is actually published anonymously. It says by an unknown Christian. Now, if you read Wikipedia, they do actually know who wrote this book. So he didn't remain anonymous, but Zondervan, who publishes this book, still publishes it anonymously because that is what the author wanted. So that's on my list. I need to read that one soon. And then there's more books, and these are all for the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge because it's a 50 prompt challenge that takes place during an entire year. This is like the fifth or sixth year that I have participated in this challenge, and I have 13 more books to read. So all of these books are going to count towards the challenge in one way or another. Um, the next one on the list is Zlata the Goat and Other Stories by Isaac Bolshevist singer and this is uh, for a prompt to read a book that starts with the letter Z or X or Q or something like that so anyhow the lot of the goat 
So I looked at my prompts and I looked at the Newberry list and I picked out as many as I could from the Newberry list because not only do I want to read all those books, it's really important for me to get through the whole list, but also they're shorter books, so easier to get through, right? You would hope, unless it turns out to be something really boring, which some of them are. So the next book that I have on my list for September or whenever I get to it soon will be The Girl Who Drank the Moon. And I'm reading that for a prompt to read a book with the prettiest cover on your TBR list. And then the next one, conversely, is the book with the ugliest cover on your TBR list. And I chose The Tale of Death Perot because I am not a fan of mice. I just am not. So it's a book about a mouse and a mouse on the cover did not appeal to me, but there it is. Okay, so Mitford. I'm still doing the year in Mitford read-along with some other people on booktube. And so the Mitford book for this month is Light from Heaven and that will be a priority for me in September. The next book on my list of books I want to get to soon is Bright Island. And that is a Newberry Honor book. The prompt, the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge prompt that I chose that for was to choose a random book on your shelf. So I went to the list of Newberry Medal or honor books and I numbered them all and I put that in the random number generator and I got Bright Island. have never read it before so I did buy a book. It's a, I bought a used book off Amazon. And then the next one that I plan to read for the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge is The Story of Mankind and I think it was to read the book that's been on your reading list the longest. And it was actually, The Story of Mankind is the very first uh, Newbery Medal winner. And I did read it a long time ago. I read maybe about a third to a half of it at one time, uh, a very long time ago. And so I would like to finish it soon. And then the last book that I've got, maybe not the last, okay. This is not the last book, but another one that I want to read soon for the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge is Scary Stories for Young Foxes. It's a prompt to read a book that you had intended to read last year. And I remember last October, I was living in a hotel room after the Slater Fire ate my home. And I was in a hotel room paid for by the Red Cross. It was pretty nice that they did that for us, but I just was so shocked and traumatized at the time. Uh, I just didn't get a lot of reading done, so still need to read that one. And then the next one on my list that I want to get to very soon, which will probably be September or October, I want to read White Poplar Black Locust by Louise Wagonek. Um, another local book. This is about her growing up in a town not very far from me. It's about a two-hour drive to get out to Hilt, California, where she was a child. Now, I read another book that she wrote last year that was about her growing up as a teenager in the town where I live, but this earlier book, this earlier memoir was, uh, I think, her childhood. So. I don't know. I'll know more when I read it. So looking forward to that. And then the last book that I have on my list, really the last book this time, <laughs> um, for the Sister in, Sisters in Christ reading group on Goodreads, I am reading something called Holier Than Thou. How God's Holiness Helps Us Trust Him by Jackie Hill Perry. And I don't know much about it yet. I know that the moderator of the group recommends it. So I do have a copy and I will start reading it this month. This is their book for this month, September. And 
trying to keep up with the books that that group is recommending. So that is it. That is my TBR, and I will talk to you in another video.